This is chapter 5, programming exercise 11. Find numbers divisible by 5 or 6, but not both. So we're going to write a program that displays all the number from 100 to 200, 10 numbers per line that are divisible by 5 or 6, but not both. Numbers are separated by exactly one space. So how are we going to display this? Well, we just have to follow three simple rules, right? We have to make sure that number is divisible by 5. So if this number, 100, is divisible by 5, then we also have to make sure it's not divisible by 6. If that's true, display. And then there's the opposite, right? Rule 2. If the number is divisible by 6 and not by 5, then we display it. So uh, each of these numbers are divisible by 5 or 6, but not both. And there's going to just be 10 numbers per line. So it's going to look like something like this right here. All right. All right. So let's tackle that in this exercise. So let's see. I believe the only thing we're really going to need is a for loop. Let's do short, short, uh, let's call it number and let's start it at 100. Because we're going to be displaying numbers between 100 to 200. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. So the first thing I want to do is actually check for if the number right here. So we're going to be using this number to check and display. And we have our if right here. If this number is uh, mod by 5, if it equals 0, well, then we do another check. If number modded by 6 equals 0, then we want to print out the number. All right, so it'll be number plus and a space. So let's take a look and see how that looks like. All right, so we have something like this. Uh, 120, 150, and 180. Ooh, I made a little mistake right here. So as you can tell, this number is divisible by 5 and 6, and that's because of this logical error right here, when I meant to say not equal, right? This number has to, uh, if I want to display it for my first rule, I want to make sure that the number is divisible by 5 but not 6, and if that's true, then uh, display it. All right, so it has to be divisible by 5, but it can't be divisible by 6, and if that's true, display it. So, uh, Let's try that again, and here we go. So now we got all the numbers that are divisible by five and not by six. Perfect. So we wanna do this again, but this time uh, a reverse. I want it to be divisible by six, but not by five. And there we go. So we, now we got the whole list. This number is divisible by five, but not divisible by six. This number is divisible by six, but not by five. So we got all that. And now, uh, next thing I wanna do is to just have 10 numbers per line. So we could do something like this, right? Um, no, 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 ta, ta. So let me do a counter. So I wanna keep track of all the numbers, right? Bytes. Uh, number counter and we'll start that at zero so for every time I have a number that's going to be display I want to count that I want to keep track of it so number counter plus plus and we'll do that right here and then we're gonna do a little check if number counter modded by 10 equal zero then I want to start a new line So there we go, now we have something like this. But right here, this is messy. What's going on is, if this doesn't increase to a number that's, so if it reached a point where it is modded by 10 equals zero, and then it goes through a loop again and it doesn't increase, it'll add another line, which is terrible, and I don't want that. So what I could do is, I could do that check in here, right? Put the if case inside here, right? And inside here. So. That way, if it does increase or if it doesn't increase, then we will have a new line. But 
there's more ways there's multiple ways to do one thing and what I'm going to do is actually use a boolean to do that I'm going to say hey check line I'm going to set it as uh, false at default and each time each time I increment it I'm going to set it to true all right each time I increment it I'm going to set it to true that way I know that hey it is possible for me to put to create a new line and I'm going to do a little check here it has to be modable by 10 equals 0 and check line has to return true if that's the case then I wanted to create a new line and there we go now it display everything like uh, we want it it only div uh, display numbers that's divisible <laughs> divisible by 5 but not by 6 or divisible by 6 and not by 5 and 10 numbers per line all right from 100 to 200 so all criteria has been satisfied all right and just to do a quick run through of what we did here. So we create a counter of byte type because this counter is not gonna grow more than uh, 100, 100 at most, all right? And this counter is to check when I can create a new line. So I start at zero. Each time I display a number, I increase the counter. So once it displayed 10 numbers, I know for sure that I could uh, display the next number in a new line. So that's why I mod it by 10. If the number, if the counter is modable by 10, then I know I could display a new line. I could start a new line. So it'd be 10, 20, 30, and the next one if possible, 40, all right? And I also have another variable uh, of Boolean type to check if I'm allowed to create a new line, right? Now, I have a little error before where it just creates multiple lines when I don't really want it to. So this uh, at default is false. Allow me to uh, check if I'm allowed to create a new line if the number counter has been incremented, if there's any changes made. If there was any changes made to a number counter, then I do a little check to see if, okay, let me see if if, if it's also divisible by 10, and if it is, and I make some change to a number counter, then I will create a new line. Now for the meat of this exercise, is the for loop uh, running from 100 to 200 and doing a check on the number that I'm using. So this number starts at 100, goes all the way to 200, and I check if it's divisible by five and not divisible by six, print it, or divisible by six and not divisible by five, and print it. Right, and all that gets displayed right here. All right, so that is pretty much it for this exercise.